What's up, good people? What's up, good people? Um, I know that intro is long. I'm not going to keep it that way. Um, I just wanted to stop in and talk about dreams. Um, I just got through with a 20-hour day. And um, it, it has always been a dream of mine to do this, to have a quote-unquote talk show and, um, of course, my other show, Stock Up With Larry Jones, I just shared live with 10,000 people. And it's been, it's been because of the blessings of God, of course, and uh, just hard work, good people. This has been an 18-hour day. And I just had to leave this uh, thought with you about dreams. And it's very important that we never stop dreaming. So, you know, when we're young, we grow up, we have all of these dreams. Little girls have dreams. Little boys have dreams. We dreams of our families. Nobody dreams about being a failure. We just dream about doing great things. And then life gets in the way, right? We, we get older. We get married, some of us. And... You know, I always say busyness is a tool used by the devil. Necessary business is a tool used to take us off of our path, to take us off of the trajectory of our dreams. And we still have those dreams. You know, men, we want to take care of our families. So we said, well, eh, I'll put that to the side. Women, you too. Uh, a lot of women, you get the short end of the stick. Because a lot of women marry men, especially if he's a powerful man or successful man. You women, sometimes you, guess, you just have to be a shadow of that person. Though you went to school, you studied, you, you had these dreams and aspirations of doing something great. And then life gets in the way. You know, you women, you get, you get, you get pregnant, you have a beautiful family. Same thing with the men. And your dreams get put on the back burner. And we never get back to those dreams. You know, my good friend Ron Lewis always says, you you got three-thirds of your life to do whatever you want to do. You work a third of your life, you sleep a third of your life, and you have a third of your life to do whatever you want to do. Most of us squander that last third. We work all our lives, we have to sleep, and we have to work. And then that, when we get to the point of that last third, we're around 68 years old. We're broke down. We're tired. We got illnesses. And we're, we're getting ready to live on a fixed income. And so what I want to do is I want to encourage you to dream. To begin to dream again. Redream. I had a dream to do a show and it just so happens that I wind up doing two shows. So I do stock up with Larry Jones, but Larry Jones TV allows me to be me and to talk more than just finances. And, you know, there's a good book, Story of Joseph. You guys have probably heard me talk about it because I love that story. 
It was such a powerful message that spoke to me. He was the youngest brother. His dad gave him a coat of many colors. His brothers got jealous and they literally, you know, threw him in a ditch, left him for dead. And one of the brothers said to him, you know, he kept dreaming that he was going to have authority and he was going to be a ruler and he was going to have authority over them. And one of his jealous brothers said, what if his dreams come true? And so that's what they were fearful of. They were fearful, fearful of his dreams coming true. And so I want to tell you that your enemies, that Satan himself is fearful of your dreams coming true. And sometimes we put our dreams so far away in the back of a shelf. We, 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 we make it so unobtainable to where by the time we even get to retirement to where we can actually begin to dream, it's too late. And so what I'm going to challenge you to do with no sleep is to dream again. And dreaming again, you know, there's things that you could do right now to just get a piece of your dream, you know. Um, and so this is going to sound funny. I don't care if you're 300 pounds and you dreamed about being a ballerina. Start right now. Doing, number one, you want to be healthy, right? But number two, call some of your friends and say, hey, by this date, I'm going to practice and I'm going to do this. And I'm going to ask you guys to dress up and come see me dance. You know, it's it may sound funny to you, but I'm telling you, once you start on that path, the fulfillment that you will get to accomplish it is worth more than anything. It really is. It's so, so rewarding. And I know I'm switching from camera to camera because I'm trying to learn this equipment as I talk to you guys. And uh, so I want to tell you guys this. I um, um, the comedian Sinbad is partially responsible for all of this, believe it or not. So my wife was uh, a manager at the Star Plaza Theater in the city of Maryville, Indiana, which is a suburb of Chicago. And I took care, took care of the acts for many years. I think it was about seven years I took care of the acts. You know, um, sometimes there were musicians. I took care of everybody from LL Cool J to Alice Cooper. And sometimes they would need things from Guitar Center or whatever. I knew where to go and get this stuff, right? And uh, one time we did a show with Sinbad. This was many years ago uh, before I got married. And uh, we were downtown um, at Navy Pier and Sinbad, who was one of the best people I ever took care of. Here's a picture of him right there. Yeah. Sinbad sat me down and he says, Larry, what do you want to do? And I'm like, I don't know. And so I told him some basic things that I wanted to do. He says, no, 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 Larry, dream bigger. Give me something really big that you want to do. And you guys are not going to believe it. I said, one day I want to have a talk show and shoot a movie. He looked me in the eye. Let me go to this camera. He looked me dead in the eye. He said, get a camera and start shooting. And he stayed on me for the next couple of hours to get a camera and start shooting. Somebody out there wants to do a YouTube page or you want to show or you want to do something that seems so far removed from anything you could accomplish. But I'll tell you what I did. I started working harder, working, quote unquote, overtime to save some money. Back in the day, I drove Uber on top of my job so I can make some more money so I can invest in my dream. And thanks to Simbad, I did buy a camera and here I am.
I got multiple cameras now, but here I am. Sinbad taught me a very valuable lesson. Never stop dreaming and just begin. And that just begin is the hardest part for most people. Just begin, good people. Just begin. You got business ideas. You got books. You got whatever the, uh, their, your ideas, your dreams and aspirations are. And sometimes they've changed over the years. But all I'm going to say to you is just begin. You never know what lies ahead of you if you just begin. And I'm a living witness. And I got another secret for you guys. I did shoot a movie. And <laughs> one of these days, I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to share it with all of you guys. Because I had a vision. I had a dream. I called some friends. I got a camera. And I just started shooting, like he said. And I says, I don't even know how to work the camera. He says, you'll find that out after you buy it. And I did just that. And so I want to tell you guys in closing. I want you guys to join me here. Come. I'm only going to be posting probably once a week after I get through talking about stock and I get inspired to inspire. You guys just join me here. Hit the like notification bell. Leave me some comments. And if you're a negative person, if you come in here to be negative, this is not the space for you. Just just leave. This is not the space for you. I want to keep this page positive. I want to inspire somebody and I want to help someone to begin to dream again. But in order to have your dreams come true, you must just begin. All right, good people. I'm going to leave it with that right there. And make sure you hit the like, subscribe and notification bell because you're going to hear something that's going to pour into you or someone, you know, that needs to hear some of the things that we're going to be discussing. All right, good people. I um, I don't have another sign off, so I'm just going to live. I'm just going to leave you with my live, laugh uh, and learn, live, love, laugh and learn. OK, and I'm going to get some sleep. Good people. I love you guys. And that is the truth. We'll see you later.